guys in this video of YouTube marketing course I'm going to explain you YouTube live streaming settings so this is going to be a full tutorial where I'm going to explain you all the live uh, streaming settings which we get in our YouTube studio in the previous videos I have already shown you how to use uh, OBS studio which is one of the top live streaming software for YouTube and that is totally free and how to use it I've already shown you in the previous videos right now in this particular video I'm going to explain you all the uh, all important settings on the YouTube studio itself right let's say you directly want to go live from your YouTube studio so what are the settings you need to explain before going live are covered in this particular video so let's directly jump into my YouTube studio and I'll show you guys as you can see right now i'm in my youtube studio and this is the demo channel which i have created in this course itself as you remember the channel name is mf digital marketing training so let's leave this extra details now let's directly jump into the topic now uh, as i'm going to show you the all the uh, important settings and options in live streaming menu so for that we need to click on either this button or uh click on this button right so in whatever the button you click you will get this go live option this is the direct option go live now here you need to answer that you want to go live right now or for later date so whatever the option suits you you can select it let's say i want to uh go live basically i want to schedule a live stream for later date so i'll click on start and now it is asking that you want to go live with built-in webcam or streaming software so streaming software is like obs right obs studio so that is a streaming software so i've already shown you how to go live how to do live streaming with uh, obs software now i'm going to show you this option built-in webcam so click on this go button and it will ask your uh, basically browser access of camera and mic so you just need to allow like this and this will work right but right now you don't need to go on webcam option directly click on stream option right because in the stream option we have all the settings now if you scroll a little bit down here I'm going to show you all the settings which are available in this screen right so this is basically the small window where uh, our video will appear when we start the streaming now if we scroll a little bit down here we do have a small menu where we do have three options stream settings analytics stream health so in stream settings we do have this uh, stream key option so basically we do have two options or not even two options mainly we do have this by default stream key rtmp variable option right so this is the default version default stream key so you don't need to do anything extra over here unless there is any kind of specification or specific need right so let's say we want to connect our obs software with uh, this uh, youtube studio so we need to use this stream key in order to connect it right so you just need to go with the default stream key option and copy this stream key and you need to paste this stream key on your obs software right and here we do have stream URL and backup server URL, right? After this, after this stream key options, we do have stream latency option. So this is a bit uh, important option. Now we do have three options, normal latency, latency, low latency and ultra low latency. So what is the difference between we with between these three options? So let's say you are going live right and you have clicked on low let normal latency which means the video will appear on YouTube after five six seven seconds so basically this will take some time to go live let's say you are talking on any particular or you are explaining any particular topic on your live stream and it will take seven to eight nine seconds to go live or to show on the screen if you go with low normal latency but if you go with normal latency the quality will be high because the system is taking time and time and it is increasing the quality of the content right basically the audio and the video and if you go with low latency low latency is like the latency will get decreased and the delay will also get decreased 
like it will go to three four seconds right or around four five seconds maybe maximum or minimum but the thing is the quality will also decrease and then we have this ultra low latency if you go with ultra low latency the delay will be minimum as possible and the quality will also get decreased right so in these two options the we need to compromise with the quality but the latency will be very low right then you can go with normal latency as well so whatever the option suits you if you want to go live with the minimum delay then you can go with this option otherwise if you are okay with the delay then you can go with the normal latency as well and there is a other side as well that you are getting good quality in normal latency and you are getting a little bit poor quality on the poor side with ultra low latency right so there is a pros and cons as well after this we do have additional settings in additional settings we do have enabled dvr dvr is basically let's say your audience some of your subscribers or some of the viewers have uh, clicked on your live stream after five minutes you have started the live stream so if you enable this dvr option enable dvr option they will be able to watch the video from the starting and if you are turning off this dvr option they'll be not able to uh, watch the part which they have uh, missed right so this is totally up to you like you want to make it totally live so that uh, no one can go to the previous part of your live stream so you can turn this option on otherwise you can leave it on then we do have 360 video so 360 video is like the uh, you might have seen the 360 videos where you can see all the surroundings in the video but for that you need some hardware 360 hard video recording hardware as well in order to uh, use this option right otherwise there's no use of this option then we do have this added delay so here we get extra option to intentionally add the delay right basically you can add 30 seconds or one minute of delay so this is just for the in, uh, intentional purposes like let's say you intentionally want to delay your live stream by one minute so you can select the option over here right otherwise you can select the none option as well then closed caption closed caption is basically let's say you directly want uh, youtube to create the caption for your video as you are going live so you can use this option but the thing is this option is available with normal latency only with low and ultra low latency this option is not available as you can see it is automatically turned off even with the ultra low latency you can't turn this option on this kind of uh, message will appear so you need to go with normal latency if you want to use close caption option and in caption shows you can go with the automatic caption right so this is what the uh, closed caption option is then we do have unlist live replay replay once stream ends so i hope you understood the option that if the live stream ends the video will automatically get unlisted you don't need to go manually and unlist it it will automatically get unlisted when the live stream ends so this option is also here then we do have analytics option where we can check all the analytics of the video that how much uh, current viewers are then chat rate what is the chat rate is how much views we are getting or we got already then the average view duration all the analytics related to this particular live stream will be appeared here then live stream health live stream health is like the quality of the live stream but you will be not able to see any kind of data unless you go live using uh, youtube studio right otherwise you can go with the obs studio as well you will be able to see the live stream here oh sorry stream health here now we have covered these three options now we do have this edit option over here when we click on this edit option we get two extra options and if the monetization is on on your youtube channel then the third option will be available that is monetization and using that option you can just set the advertisements that where you want to show your ads on the live stream right but if the monetization is not on then you will get two options only the first one is details where you can set all the traditional settings like we do in any other youtube video the title and the description and how do you want to go live the streaming software so you you don't have option to do anything here then you want to make it private unlisted or public then category you can select thumbnail also you can add 
then if you want to add this live stream directly into any playlist you can select the playlist as well right and then we do have this audience option like this uh, live streaming is made for kids or not you can select it you can add the age restriction as well and if there is any kind of paid promotion you can that add that as well right so these are the options available here as i told you like we do in any other youtube video conventional youtube video recorded one right then the tags option is also available here you can add all the keywords related to this particular live stream or video then uh, the language and the stream language everything you need to enter here right i hope you understood the point then we do have customization option in customization option we get some extra options like uh, related to live chat you want to turn on the live chat or you, basically if you want to turn it off you can directly uncheck this box and the live chat option will be disappear from your live stream then we do have live chat reply so if you want to give the access to the live chat reply so basically you can turn this option on otherwise you can off it as well then participation modes anyone subscribers or live commentary approved users so there are three types of users if you want to give access to anyone or basically user available on any user available on youtube can comment on your uh, live stream then you can select this option otherwise uh, let's say you just want to give the subscribe uh, give the access to subscribers to comment so you can use this subscriber option right and from here you can select that uh, how much time minimum time they need to be subscribed right then the last option live commentary approved users so basically you can approve those you can add those users uh, over here in order to make them uh, approved right so those users will be known as live commentary approved then we do have reactions if you want to allow reactions on your live chat you can turn this option on then we do have this slow mode as well so if you turn this option on there will be a slight delay in your chats like 60 seconds or you can go up to uh, 100 seconds 200 seconds maximum you can go up to 300 seconds right so basically you can intentionally add a delay in your live chat as well so these were the settings in the edit option let me cancel it and here you'll be when you go live you'll be uh, here you'll be able to see all the chats and even you can give directly uh, give the reply from here as well right you can react as well you can add some extra things from here like poll and question so this is basically the chat option i hope you understood all settings in your youtube v, uh, studio and if you still have any confusion any kind of question or query you can comment down below i'll answer those questions in the comment section itself now let me wrap up this video here i'll be meeting you in the next video till then